I feel like I shouldn't wear this top. I just, it's, I'm gonna have to put the cows in front of them. It's just, it's not gonna work. We must, we must fix this. There we go, that's better. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are finally out of the newborn stage, so I thought I would pull together all of my newborn must-haves. And a little disclaimer, every single baby is different. They're unique, they're little humans. Are you the same as Becky next door? No, you're my not. My loves, must-haves will not be the same as yours, but I did try out a ton of different items in the same category to truly find out my must-have. And I'll give you the reasoning of why, but it is still just my opinion, so take it with a grain of salt. Every must-have list is gonna be a little bit different. And just like in my baby regrets video, we're gonna go from least expensive down to most expensive. My number one must-have, and it is inexpensive, it is the MAM pacifier. Now, I didn't research pacifiers before I had Arrow. I actually just instinctively thought pacifiers were a bad habit and to not do them until I had a baby and then my pediatrician, the baby nurses, the lactation consultant all said push the pacifier, it prevents SIDS. And it's also helped us a lot in her like sleep training and we tried out a ton of different pacifiers and based off a reddit thread the mam pacifier is the best for like newborns it's easier to stay in their mouth and it's true it did work it's the only one she took to so if you are wanting to go down the pacifier route totally up to you the mam pacifier great starting point she have diapy i gotta feed her at 11 so 20 minutes hi good morning squish okay we're done a quick diaper change break, but that brings me to number two, super essential butt paste and a spatula. This was literally um, just used, but this brand in particular, the Boudot's butt paste, I didn't want to buy because it looks like it was created by McDonald's. I tried all of the natural ones. I tried everything on the market until I finally just broke and bought this one. And it just, it works. Like, it's just, you need this. I bought the huge tub. I think this is like 14 bucks. The spatula, I thought was like a super extra thing for someone with like long acrylic nails. No, the butt paste lingers. It gets under short nails. Get yourself a spatula. It's, it's inexpensive and it's so essential. My next must have is the Frida Baby Snot Sucker plus their saline solution. And sucking out the snot is not as gross as you think, I promise. My husband can't do it. I did see a comment warning in my last video. Do not use it when your baby actually has like a cold or they're sick because you're just <laughs> sucking in like the virus. My next essential is for moms who decide to nurse and have trouble nursing getting a latch or it's painful, see a lactation consultant, but a nipple shield has been life-saving to my journey. I have been incapable of getting a latch and so I have been full-time nursing with it. Until recently, she's been able to latch to this side, my super producer, and now my new issue, why I had to go back to the nipple shield, is it's coming out so fast that she's choking on it and she backs up and then it continues to just shotgun into her eyeballs, up her nose. She's choking, she's being waterboarded with milk. And I try to stick her head back on, but it's like so wet that she's like on. <laughs> it's it's such a mess. I don't know what to do, guys. So now I'm just I'm just back to the nipple shield. It it it's my lifesaver. My next essential is a cradle cap brush. It is not just for cradle cap, but it prevents it. And my baby did get cradle cap. I feel like every baby gets a little bit of cradle cap. I could be wrong, but I always hear everyone talking about it. I love the Frida Baby one. Just get it just in case they're not too pricey and cradle cap is just not fun to look at. Speaking of cradle cap, that leads us to my next must have, which is the Tubby Todd All Over Ointment. This isn't directly for cradle cap, but it's supposed to just be like a fix all ointment like on dry skin, heat rash, milk rash, cradle cap. I mean, we pretty much just use it for everything. And it seems to just be a huge fan favorite in general, so I completely recommend it. Next, the Noodle and Boo Shampoo and Conditioner. If you have a baby with super sensitive skin, this does have a bit of fragrance in it, so it might not be 
the best, but we've had no issue with it. It smells so good. And I also use it as a body wash. And that way when we do skin to skin, she's just around the same fragrance, the same thing. Next must have is a travel changing mat. Even if you don't think you travel a lot, I bet you will do at least one or two or a bunch of car changes, even changes in other rooms inside of your house. The second you decide to change it without a mat or on a towel, that's gonna be when she has explosive everywhere. My favorite is the gather mat just because it's slim and it fits into a diaper bag. This I next one is also for nursing moms, a suction pump. That would be something like a Hakka or an LV Curve. I do prefer the LV just because it cannot be kicked off and I think I've storied and tweeted a lot about how my Hakka has spilt so many times. It's the perfect thing for releasing a little bit of that extra built up milk overnight without having to deal with a whole pump setup. My next super must have is a swaddle. She naps in the swaddle. She sleeps overnight in the swaddle. It's really like the key thing that makes her go like, okay, I'm gonna sleep now. Like she won't really sleep without it. We love the love to dream swaddle. It's her arms up. Not all babies will love sleeping with their arms up but she does. It's also a zipper based swaddle, which is key for those late night diaper changes. My other suggestion is to get at least two of them because like I said, she won't nap without it and she's only awake really for like an hour and 25 minutes tops and you can't wash and dry a swaddle in that amount of time. So you run into some issues if you only got one Next, of them. Next we have the My Breast Friend. It is by far the superior breastfeeding pillow just because it's firm, it straps on to you, it's just easy, it is ugly, I feel like, the covers are just meh. And this wasn't planned, but now you can see the My Breast Friend in action. Again, not cute, super functional. Now for some of my splurge favorites, the Kikaru changing pad, you can see it right there. Honestly, the first reason I bought it is just because I love the look of it. And your changing pad is kind of like on display in a nursery. But I have grown to love it because the quality of the material is so nice. It's so comfy and it's like her go-to happy place. I don't know why. Like she did like her second laugh ever in that thing. I don't know what it is. Next for me, the age old question, bouncer or swing is swing. Now, again, every baby is different, but she loves her swing. She does not understand bouncer. It might just be that she's like a newborn. It's essential every morning for me to be able to like microwave oatmeal and pour myself coffee. She chills in there. She's happy in there. Without it, it's rough. The next place she spends a ton of awake time to just chill or tummy time is her love every play mat. Also, we're gifted the skip hop play mat and so I can kind of compare the two. And the Love Every does have a lot more things to it. It has more sensory stuff. It also has like cute little tent you can put up. I'm definitely a fan of it. It is a bit more pricey than I think a lot of the other play mats. If you are on a budget, I could honestly let go of the play mat. I could let go of the swing. The one thing I could not let go of for her is her snuggle me. Any leap, any difficult day, can be solved with a nap in the Snuggle Me. The Snuggle Me has been so key for naps, even just relaxing with us on the couch when we watch a movie. I do need to say, do not do unsupervised sleeps in the Snuggle Me because there is a suffocation risk if they go to the side or on their stomach. In the Snuggle Me so much that I do recommend if you do get one, get a backup cover. The same reason as the Swaddle is we're just always washing them. Next, I've tried a lot of strollers and I've tried a lot of car seats. I think three different ones. And the one that just made the most sense for our life, camping and traveling is the Duna. Some negatives to the Duna, like it's difficult to get in and out of a car, especially when the car is lifted like we have. It's expensive and it's just for infants, so they do grow out of it quickly but it has come in so key because it is a car seat and stroller in one. 
that if you do travel and you go into a different car, you can just pop it in and pop it out. You can put it in without a base. But it is for a particular lifestyle. It's just the one I suggest for what we did. And of course, the other essential you will need when you have a baby is going to be a bassinet. You can get a bassinet way before you get a crib because, I mean, other than just getting her used to the crib, she's really had no need for it. We had the Halo and then we also have the Snoo. And I love them both for different reasons. The Halo, I feel like it's a good price for what it is. I loved that the side of it would come down and I could just grab her really easily in the middle of the it night. It came with its own sound machine. That was key. It also had a vibrate function, which she hated. And so it was kind of just a lost feature on and us. And then we have the Snoo, which just is like a robot for your baby. It does so much it tracks her sleep it hears her cries and picks up speed with motion so your baby can literally be rocked all night it helps them get through leaps it also has its own sound machine the look of it the mid-century modern i really like of course the issue here is that it's very expensive you can get a military discount which i think is 30 percent off or you can also rent it but I'm not gonna sit here and say a $1,500 bassinet is a must have for everyone because that's not realistic. Now for some bonus suggestions. I wanna do a little clothing section. My favorites for her, the easiest, the best quality, the ones we reach for. Have to be her Magnetic Me footy sleepers because they're just super easy. They're the one my husband loves the most. They don't have buttons, they don't have zippers, they're just magnets. Fabric wise, I love the Kite Baby Sleepers. They're pretty basic, but they have a ton of different colors. The material is like really stretchy, so you can get a lot of use out of these sleepers, and they just, they just feel good. Like I feel good putting her in them. But if you love something with prints, or you love two-piece sets, I love the Solly baby sleeper sets. Again, not the knotted gowns, but the sleeper sets are so cute. I love their colors, I love their prints, and their fabric is also super soft. And finally, that is everything. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. If you're not, subscribe and join our family and grow with us. And we will see you guys next Monday. Bye! to myself and I'm thinking out loud we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time and I know it so well I will always be by your side